Hello everyone, my name is David Jerebeck and today I'd like to tell you about some of the key features you have available with your Clever Touch Interactive Board. First, let's start off by making sure the board is connected securely to the USB-C hub. To turn on the device, there's a power button located on the right side of the board. The Clever Touch will default to the last input you had selected. In this case, it is HDMI 1 coming out of our laptop computer. Now the Clever Touch will operate in the same manner as any touchscreen device would. For those of you that are familiar with smart boards, the Clever Touch is a very similar pen function that allows you to annotate over your window screen. To access those features, the Clever Touch has two pens magnetically attached to the back of each board. You can select the pen icon on the front, then pen again, and this is where you can select the color that you want. In this case, let's have it red. We can annotate right over the top of what we're working on. And if you're doing a math equation or you have a really complex set of annotations that you'd like to save, all you need to do is select the floppy disk icon on the front, and that will save it to the hard drive that's located on your Clever Touch. And I'll show you how to access those files later. If you just want to get rid of those annotations, sweep them away with a little broomstick, and then you're all done with that. If you have lessons already created with Smart Notebook, you can still use it on your Clever Touch. Simply open up the Smart Notebook icon. Now, the only downside I've encountered using Smart Notebook on the Clever Touch is the need to manually select the eraser or the pen color that you want to use. Now, we only have the two pens on our Clever Touch, so if we want to use the various colors in Smart Notebook, we have to select those tools with the color that we want. So if we want a green, now we can write with that. If we want to erase it, all we have to do is select the eraser. But that really is the only downside I've encountered using Smart Notebook on the Clever Touch. Now, all of these features are pretty straightforward and basic, but here's where the Clever Touch really shines. It has a built in Android operating system, very similar to your phone or a tablet. To access those features, we can go back to that pen icon on the left and select the home screen. And then let's pull up the first one, the whiteboard. One of my favorite parts of the whiteboard is the ability to select a custom background. In this case, by selecting the three parallel lines in the left corner and selecting background, we can select the color that we want or the texture. For our math teachers, you might appreciate the grid. For grammar teachers, you might appreciate the lines so kids can practice their alphabet. But for music teachers, my background, let's select the grand staff. And using our pen, we can write in notes. And, hey, we're in 6-4. Um, let's look at some of the other options. We even have a football field. And we can change the color to green. This is my audition to be the offensive coordinator for the Green Bay Packers. You also have the ability to save your whiteboard as well as open them when you want as well later. One other tool that you'll want to be aware of is the CleverShare app located in Apps. This will allow your students that are using a school Chromebook to broadcast their screens onto the board. So if they've done a math equation and you want them to show their work in groups, they can broadcast this to the screen. You can have up to four student screens shared at once. To remove the students from screen sharing, simply hit the X and you're back to the home screen. Lastly, to connect your Clever Touch back to your HP laptop, either select the input button on your remote control or again the upward arrow at the bottom of your Clever Touch screen and select HDMI input. And then the Clever Touch is back to being an extension of your HP laptop. If you have any other questions about your Clever Touch board or some ideas how you could incorporate it into your classroom that you'd like to share with other teachers, please let me know. All right, have a great school year. Take care.